welcome aboard students my name is dr subodh prasad i am working in the capacity of assistant professor at the department of information technology at govind vallabh pant university of agriculture and technology pantnagar uttarakhand today we are going to talk about the usage of javascript cookies the behavior of javascript cookies how they are going to be useful for us in the last lecture what we saw we saw was javascript and the event handling in javascript how this event handling is possible in javascript how javascript is beneficial why is it used why this events are different kinds are easily handled by this javascript right so let us move ahead these are the learning objectives the understand and behavior analysis and usage of javascript cookies right so first of all let us all see what is a cookie a cookie in normal life what we are talking about a cookie is a biscuit we use biscuits in day to day life but in terms of internet technology in web technology cookies are playing a very important role so what are cookies cookies are small text files that are stored on users computer by any website they are used by the server to remember the user preferences track the user behavior and provide personalized experiences how are cookies used in web development the cookies are used in web development to store the user preferences to track the user behavior and provide personalized experiences they are also used for authentication and session management this is very important to understand benefits and drawbacks of using cookies cookies provide many benefits such as improving website usability and personalization however they also raise privacy concerns and can be exploited by the hackers so these cookies are initial essentially what they are a piece of small text files which are stored on any computer by any server as soon as you are visiting any website then that website may store a cookie on your computer right so in this particular pictorial representation what you are going to see you are going to see just what i have explained right now this you can see is a request by any computer or laptop to a network to or any server and from there a response is coming a response is coming with along with a cookie right and then again that that cookie is being saved on a computer and then you will send another request then particular request will be embedded with the cookie so this cookie is playing a very important role it is telling the server about the location of your system the preferences that you have stored the session that you have talked initiated and the username password or other things that you have just used to log in into the system so javascript cookies we are talking about now the introduction to cookies in web development cookies are small text files that are used or stored on a user's computer this user is the end user which user is going to the internet to obtain a certain information so this cookie is being stored on a user's computer by any website and this is which website this is the website in which the end user is going to visit to get certain information useful for him or her they are used to store user preferences these cookies are used to store the user preferences the login information just now i have told you the username password and suppose you are providing your mobile number email id or other things then all that information will get passed through this cookie and other data that can be accessed by the website at a later time so what are the benefits of using cookies in javascript cookies can be used to maintain the user preferences the login information and this hence makes it easier for the user to navigate any website because any website you are going to visit then at the same time that how will that website recognize you that website will recognize you by your username password your login credentials and if website will ask from you username password at every 
one second or every two second or every five minutes then you will get irritated you will get annoyed so to get relief from this problem this cookie is very important so in this cookie you are storing all these information and this cookie is being stored in your computer and the server knows from this cookie that your information is staying with the server and this cookie gets passed on at every request when you raise any request to that particular website or particular server then this cookie is going to get passed like i have shown in the last page figure now what is the explanation of different types of cookies there are three different types of cookies which are existing the first one is the session cookie the second one is the persistent cookie and the third one is the third party cookie so what is a session cookie session cookies are what these are temporary cookies that are stored in a user's browser memory while they are visiting a website now you must have seen whenever we are visiting a website a certain data gets stored and sometimes our c drive our temporary storage and or our other browsing history gets filled up automatically how is it getting filled because you are not knowing that but whenever you are visiting any website or any web page a lot of information a lot of data a lot of figures a lot of other files get stored on your computer along with the cookie so this session cookie gets stored with that immediately because this is the cookie which is responsible for the server to know your relation with that particular website or that particular server because this cookie will store your username it will store your password it will store your other login credentials it will store the session information that at what time have you logged in it is all this cookie will get then passed to the server so these cookies are deleted then automatically when the user is closing the browser otherwise it will not get deleted as long as your browser is on that that for that particular time the cookie will get executed now the session cookies are commonly used to remember the user preferences such as language or currency selection and to maintain user login sessions the session cookies are very very common and very useful for the websites and for the users also because user preferences like you have such uh, language you have chosen to be hindi or you have chosen the language to be english or any other language or you have selected a particular country therefore all this is very important to get st so stored for example when a user logs into a website a session cookie is created that stores a unique identifier for the user's session this identifier is used to track the user's activity on the website and to keep them logged in until they log out or close their browser so this is the importance of the session cookie right so i have shown a example of session cookie session cookie as i have already told you it stays till the browser is on or you have not logged out so how to create it so create a session cookie in javascript you can use the document dot cookie property and set an expiration time to a session or leave it undefined so this is the example so this is a particular javascript code which you are going to write document dot cookie is equal to in double quotes username is equal to john do i have not written any session time over here right so because i have not written any session time so this will get running it will get session will continue till when till the user does not logs out or does not closes the particular browser so this cookie will expire as soon as the user quits the browser or as soon as the user logs out after this is the second one the persistent cookie so what a persistent cookie is doing a persistent cookie also as a permanent or stored cookie so this particular cookie are those that remain on the user's computer even after they have closed their browser so this is very important to note over here even after you are closing the browser there are certain cookies that may be existing on your computers so these cookies have an expiration date set in the future 
लाइक वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग यूर जी मेल और एनी अदर ई मेल अकाउंट समटाइम्स यू गेट अ बटन ऑफ रिमेंबर मी और रिमेंबर माई साइन इन सो यू टिक ऑन दैट साइन इन बिफोर यू लॉग इन एंड बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन दैट टिक बटन और बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन रिमेंबरिंग मी वट यू आर डूइंग यू आर टेलिंग द सर्वर दैट द सर्वर कैन ड्रॉप अ परजेस्टन कुकी ऑन यूर पर्टिकुलर कंप्यूटर and this particular cookie has got properties it has got which kind of properties it has got the property of setting an expiration date and time of any future date so suppose today right now i am logging in into my account of gmail and i am clicking on remember me so this is doing what this is essentially sending a message to the server that i have to be remembered and my login credentials have to be saved in a persistent cookie and then it has to be saved on my machine so this is very important to understand that a website may use a persistent cookie to remember a user's language preference in order that they cannot forget the particular end user every time the end user is relieved from logging in and providing the credentials to that website again and again so a user gets a lot of relief Persistent cookie are often used by the advertisers also. This is to be again noted, and analytics provider also to track your user behavior and personalize the advertising according to you. You might have seen that if you are visiting certain kind of websites every now and then. Suppose you are a person who has got small kids in your house, then you might observe that. whenever you are opening some website or you are opening youtube you will always see the ad of first cry or any other website that is providing the kids based products or services you will always see their advertisements why is it so how does they get how do they get to know that you are having a baby in your home it is because when you are having baby sometimes you will search on the internet certain things do you want to buy for that baby or you are going to put some songs on in your computer you are going to log in into youtube kids or other things so this will tell the server that persistent cookie can get stored on my computer according to that your session will be created but along with this that cookie can be read by the server and the advertisers also that you are having baby at home so they will start putting all the ads related to baby care products in your account whenever you are visiting any website you will get those ads so this is a very important thing that you have got to understand persistent cookies behavior is like this right so this is an example of the persistent cookie how are you going to create a persistent cookie in javascript you can set the expiration time using a date object so this is an example javascript code where expiration date is equal to new date this is a function the expiration date dot set date expiration date dot get date plus 30 so document dot cookie is equal to username john dog and then it expires is equal to 30 right so expiration date dot to utc string so this particular example what you see that the cookie is expiring in 30 days so 30 is the value of days which has been put in mostly you might have seen that every now and then when you log in to gmail or any other account you see that if you click on remember me then your account stays logged in for 30 days only after this your account gets logged out and the server asks you again to log in so this is very important that this is because of this this particular code which has been written for 30 days after this the third type of cookie is the third party cookie now these are set by a domain other than the one you are visiting for example if a user visits example.com but the website includes content from a third party domain such as ads or social media widgets the third party domain may set cookies in the user's browser now what do you mean by this then this means that whenever you are going to any website and that website is running ads from google adsense right or any other adsense provider then different ads 
agencies are setting in your browser their own cookies right you must understand this is very important third party cookies are commonly used by advertisers and analytics providers to track the user behavior across multiple websites the how are you going to behave across different kinds of website this is going to be understood by the various kinds of advertisers so this is the third type of cookie the last type of cookie we are going to see now this is called the third party cookie now what essentially a third party cookie is whenever you are visiting any website or any domain name that you are visiting by yourself but suppose that website is running advertisements from another website then what happens is essentially that third party website which is showing ads on social media widgets the third party domain that will give unwanted cookies and store that in your browser so these are called the third party cookies so these are very dangerous because third party cookies are commonly used by advertisers analytics provider to track the user behavior across various websites and all these various kinds of websites are doing what they are finding out that what is there with you how what what is your user behavior where all websites are you visiting so these are tracker websites so these tracker cookies are getting saved on your computer and the personal interest of those third party vendors are getting solved they will give you advertisements like these only and whenever you are clicking on the advertisements some sometimes those are fake advertisements and it is very much probable that you might get scammed also so third party cookies have always been under scrutiny for their potential impact on the users privacy some web browsers nowadays are also blocking the third party cookies by default and there have been calls for strict regulations on the use of these kinds of third party cookies this is very important to understand so what you got get to understand that these third party cookies are not generated from the domain that you are visiting rather than that it is being generated by any third party advertisement providing agency such as the google adsense is there or there are other advertisement providing agencies so these advertisement providing agencies they are giving a particular code a cookie code and that cookie code is being implemented on the domain name that you are visiting what is the domain name the abc.com or cdz.com any other website that you are visiting like google.com or any other website that you are visiting all these are domain names if you are visiting that website but that website is showing certain ads which are coming from some another website any third party website so those are third party cookies so how are you going to set these third party cookies if you want to create such cookies so this is a small javascript code so if you are going to set up a third party cookie for example.com the document.cookie will be is equal to username is john do domain is equal to example.com so this is the small code which you are going to use note that this third party cookies are being blocked by various web browsers therefore if you are really want to use it then you have to set the settings accordingly right otherwise your browser will discard this particular kind of third party cookie so what is the summary we have seen various kind of cookies how these cookies are useful what are these three types of cookies the three types of cookies that we have understood are the session cookie the persistent cookie and the third party cookie how are these useful in day to day life how are these being used by various website providers by various domain names this we have seen so thank you very much for your time dear students and in the next session you are going to see the advances in this particular javascript field thank you very much